cooking, Ken. Hot dogs. Dogs on the grill. Yum. Yum. They're gonna be good. Hello. What are we having? We're having. Hello folks, we are here at the Old Mill Stream Campground and we are taking a little side trip out. We gotta go to Walmart for some provisions and we're gonna go check a place called Cineholic, which has supposedly great cinnamon buns. And um, just drive a little bit around, not for long because it's a nice day out here. And we're gonna come back to the camp. I'll keep you posted on the cinnamon buns. Okay, so we are here for a review of the Cineholic cinnamon bun. I would say I'm somewhat of a connoisseur. There's a little bit of icing if I'm you just want a, it. I'm just a food junkie. It's warm. It's good. I would say it's very good. Not really sweet. What do you think? I mean, it came with icing. That's good. But I had them put the icing on the side. So sometimes, you know, it gets really gaggy. I think it's really good. What do you think, hon? It's good. Good. My blood sugar is low, so. Very good. All right. As far as the Cineholic goes, I'd give it a thumbs up. Really good. Not too sweet. Turn right onto Warwick Road. So we're at the creamery. What kind did you get? Coffee ice cream. How is it? It's delicious. I got really creamy. A chocolate peanut butter bliss. And they put these cute little chocolate candies on it. Super cute. Yum. This might be dinner. Well, the line was super long, but it was worth it. Fox Meadow Creamery. If you're ever in the area in Pennsylvania, don't even know what town we're in, but check it out. Chef Ken, what's on the menu tonight? Um, veggies right now. We got some broccoli, carrots, and... I think we're going to have some chicken. Peppers, and then some marinated chicken. Maybe some rice. Well, good morning. It is eight o'clock on Saturday. Dragged Ken out of bed. Okay, early this morning to take him, or no, for, for him to take me to the Lancaster Market. It is supposed to be a huge farmer type market with cheeses and meats and veggies. And so I'm excited to go and maybe get some meat, steaks. I don't know, so. That is that. So we are off and about, and it's a beautiful morning. So we're here at the market.
So, we got a new sewer hose that is going to be hopefully better for us. We have this one here, this rhino, that's supposed to be if somebody like runs over it. But who the heck runs over something in here? So this one collapses so much easier. So that is our goal, is to change sewer hoses. Dinner is on. We have some corn gonna boil. We have potatoes on the grill. Steaks are going on soon. Actually, tenderloin tips is what they are. Ooh, doggy. Straight from the farmer's market. Well, we're off. It is uh, Tuesday. Isn't it Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, July 6th. And we're off. We're going down to Strasburg. It's supposed to be very warm today. High of 93. The car says 97, but I don't even feel it's 97. So we're going to just take a ride and explore a little for the morning while it's cool out. And then we'll probably go back to the campground probably sit inside if it's that warm but we'll see we're gonna maybe grab some lunch down in Strasburg and look at some trains possibly possibly yeah. some trains I don't think we're gonna take a train ride we've done that before but maybe just kind of look around mosey around and see what we find this is the town of Strasburg 1733. And Ken's like, you know, we have been here. I recognize that little ice cream shop. That's pretty sad. When That's uh, my important uh, things. landmarks. Yeah, ice cream shops. Absolutely. But it's really cool. The houses are really neat. Flowers, Old houses. Gardens, and yeah. A lot of them are redone. So we're just going to go explore. In 1,000 feet, slight left onto Pennsylvania, 741 East. Okay. Some older homes here. A lot of the people I notice have candles. You know how like at Christmas time you put the candle in the window? Well, I notice that they do that all the time. Speckled hen. That looks like a Slight left candle. onto Pennsylvania, 741 East. Half a mile, we're going to be at the Strasburg mile, Railroad. Turn left. So we're just going to check it out. So we are here by the Strasburg Railroad. We are going to go have lunch at this place called Isaac's. We ate here years ago, and it was super good. That guy's got his car. That's weird. And uh, I'll let you know. We are here at Isaac's inside, and it is kind of, the decor is like a little train. It's a train. It this is, is a, train. a train. This yeah. is a train. And we've placed an order. We don't have waitress service because they're short staffed. So we placed our order at the counter. So we are number one. I got a half a Reuben and their famous pepper jack tomato soup, cup of soup. Ken got a whole group and he wouldn't share with me because he's hungry. And what else did you get? What kind of soup did you get? Corn chowder. And he got corn chowder. So. How is it, Ken? Excellent so far. I took one bite. I haven't even tried it. There's my soup. 
and my corn beef. Reuben. And they even give you a little pickle. Right. And some chips. We'll stick it in there. I don't know. Here are some of the old railroad cars. Okay, just to recap, we ate at the Isaac's famous grilled sandwiches. Amazing. I had a half a Reuben. It was so good. Ken, how was your Reuben? Oh, it was excellent. Best Reuben I've ever had, actually. And he's kind of like what you would call I Reuben connoisseur. I eat Reubens almost everywhere I go. That they have uh, them on the menu. If they have them on the menu. Yeah, and they're known for it. And, and most of them are greasy and, and kind of the soggy rye bread. This was absolutely It was toasted thicker to, bread. Toasted so. to perfection. It was really, really good. It was good. Yeah. We're not going to go for a train ride. Yeah. Here is the Strasburg Railroad, where you can take a train ride, but I don't know. It's 95 degrees out. Here are all the old trains in the train yard. That is actually the museum. We've been in there quite a few times. restaurant and an ice cream shop and uh, it's the motel and I believe you can stay in the caboose. That's exactly right. Caboose is at it's a motel. Or, it's the caboose motel. It's like, it's so the these are the rooms then I guess that you could stay in. It's kind of neat. So this is the back end of the train motel, the caboose. Right here on farmland. Then here is the Toy Train Museum. If anybody's interested in it. Toy trains. Toy trains. Yeah, they have a gift shop. It's set here in beautiful Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Check out that laundry line. Right. Now see, this has sweet corn. This is Bird in the Hand. They have a lot of like buggy tours and Bird in the Hand Church. Bird in the Hand Farmer's Market and all these catchy little shops. Yeah, we walked through all this. We, did we walk bought a through. table in there, right yeah. in there. Yep.
this is the Good and Plenty. This is a restaurant, family style. We ate here, oh my gosh, it had to have been at least 30 years ago. It's amazing that these places are still in business. And there's quite a few of them around. Like there's a Good and Plenty, which was that one. There's a Plain and Fancy. There's a Bird in Hand. And they're family style restaurants. So I don't know with COVID how that works. But, or they might have just not been open yet for dinner. Well, it's 97 degrees outside today. So we're kind of hanging inside in the air conditioning. And um, this place is really nice and livable, I feel. Trailer? Yeah. Well, I could live in here full time. Well, I don't know Except, about full time. But... Well, I mean, like six months out. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I need to go home. Yeah, we do but need to go home. Very, not very often. But like the bathroom is is sufficient. I mean, you really don't need much more than the toilet and the shower. We've been taking good showers when we're hooked up to the campground. I mean. I take a long shower. Be a washer, and washer and dryer? You're crazy. Well, I mean, if you were thinking of traveling for longer periods of time. Yeah. But you really don't need that either. No. We have an ice maker that works. Yeah, we, we have the ice maker. And we got plenty of water. I do have problems with, like, storage of, like, fresh fruit and baked goods, that kind of stuff. I just kind of keep them out. This is my dishes to wash. and. Uncle 